Uh, the government, or Rishi Sunak, saw these reports, I think they're in the Telegraph and the Mail on Thursday, uh, revealing that the only reason Nigel Farage's accounts were shut down was because the woke staff don't like his political opinions. Uh, Rishi tweeted, this is wrong. Uh, and then we hear uh, they're talking about bringing in legislation, a law, uh, to bring banks into line in this effect. And in that uh, narrative, we were told uh, that serial offenders, in other words, banks that do this time and time again, may even have their licences to do business cancelled. Well, I would have thought that what the government needs is a much stronger attack on this. Uh, they need to say, we are bringing in a law, and uh, if a bank is caught doing this once will suspend their licence, and if they do it again, we'll take it away. No ifs, no buts. They've got to be brought into line. As I say, it has emerged in the last day or so that there are more than 10,000 people out there who've had their bank accounts cancelled, almost certainly for political reasons, you know, because they you know, were a Tory councillor or they knew a Tory or their daughter was a Tory. Uh, but, of course, the banks don't tell them. And they write these letters. I've seen these letters. They write these really rude letters saying, well, actually, we don't have to tell you. Mm. So, goodbye. Well, I'd say we need legislation to say you can't do this and if you do, we're going to cancel your licence pretty damn quick. And also, compulsorily, by law, you have to tell people why you're closing their accounts. I'm sorry I'm going to have to disappoint you, Kevin. Mm. It's not going to happen. I mean, <laughs> when you think about what I happened figured. <laughs> in 2008, we had banks which were committing basically uh, financial crime. They crippled the country. Not one single member, no matter, no matter how pr much pressure was being put on them by uh, Tory MPs in the Banking Commission, none of them went to jail. They did in America. They paid big time in America for their criminal activities. Now, what they will do, and I think they, I hope they will do, is make it transparent. Your second point, we should be told, we should see, we should have the information at our fingertips at the moment we ask for it. That will put them on the spot in a way that will embarrass them, and embarrassing them is the way forward. And that applies across the board. We need teachers to explain why they're letting children uh, trans to another gender. We need to have more uh, transparency about the way the public sector works and the way decisions are made as far as they possibly can within certain limits, which are obvious for confidentiality. Yeah. But otherwise, we find that nearly everything is happening behind closed doors, behind screens. We don't know what they're doing or saying or planning. And we don't know until it's too late. And when we do find out, we still can't find out why. Absolutely. This is, a, this is uh, to put it in a nutshell, a sinister attack on freedom of speech and freedom of expression. Uh, none of Nigel Farage's opinions are illegal. They're all valid. Uh, and he's been cancelled by Coots, the alleged top people's bank. It makes me laugh, Trevor. You know, Coots, oh, we're so inclusive and we're so <laughs> diverse. It's Coots. You know, you're not, you are the least inclusive bank in the entire world, favoured by the rich, famous and the royal. Unbelievable. Uh, listen, this is just broken, Trevor. Technical e experts have recovered all relevant messages from Boris Johnson's old phone uh, that he had been advised not to use on security grounds and he will hand them over unredacted to the coronavirus inquiry a spokesman for the ex-prime minister said i mean you know that phone always was in the end going to be uh, unlocked so uh, i don't think that's the revelation of the century what i'd like to ask you about boris is his party gate legal aid fees this uh, emerged today have cost you me british taxpayers 265000 pounds i would suggest suggest that is a scandal. This man is a millionaire. His other big drama in his life right now is getting planning permission uh, for his swimming pool at the latest of his many mansions. And we, the taxpayer, have to fund his legal battle with the government. I mean, it's ridiculous and scandalous. The whole thing is ridiculous and scandalous. The, the proceedings, the witch hunt, the kangaroo court, the penalty, all excessive and over the top and basically it's um, it's personality politics and we the taxpayers are paying through the nose for it and as you said earlier uh, that Keir Starmer has found out that actually you know the people of Uxbridge oh, by the way the BBC are, are, I um, noticed in the <laughs> of course they are